Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, August 8th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. Ooh, it looks like we have some mysterious black bars in the grid. I wonder if these are splitting these answers up. I guess we'll see when we reach the first one. One across. Bit of foolish mockery. Um, I guess this could be a jape? Is this a J? LL Bean competitor. Yeah, that could be J Crew. I wonder if this is a J. Like a cheering crowd. Yeah, that should really be a roar. Words on a check. I guess that's probably paid to. Discarded computers and such. You would call that e waste. So we have a craw. A sticking point? And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. What we have to do with wordplay clues is a look for a punny answer. So usually sticking point means a point of contention, right? But in this case, we're going for a punny answer. So I believe this is a reference to the phrase stick in one's craw. That means there's something that's really bothering you. Yeah, that's a pretty good punny answer here. Totally wipes out. I guess if we're talking about skateboarding, this could be eats it. Got down on paper. Yeah, that's wrote. Legal claim. This looks like it's going to be a lien. Yeah, a bank could have a lien on your house. So let's take a look at our first theme answer. It looks like we have royal here. Best possible hand in most poker variants. Okay, that should be a royal flush, right? Interesting. I wonder why it's being broken up like this. Liberal group with the. That should be the left, right? Surgical tool with an acronymic name. I wonder if they're going for a laser here. Yeah. Opt for a drive through wedding, maybe. I think this is gonna be a lope. Maybe we're going to Vegas here. Part of ATV. That stands for all-terrain vehicle, so that looks good. Composer known as the March King. This has gotta be John Philip Sousa. Big name in printers. Yeah, that's Epson. And move as paintings in an art exhibit. I think they're looking for rehang here. Yeah, completely drenched. That should be soak. Okay, so we have our next theme answer here. Let's see what this is. Carrying case worn with a strap. That would be a fanny pack, right? Hmm, royal flush fanny pack. Interesting. I'm not sure what any of these words have in common. Flush pack. Hmm, yeah. Let's work down towards our next theme answer here. City with the Temple of the Golden Pavilion. I think we have seen this before. I think this is in Kyoto, Japan. Nice. Sticky stuff. Is it just goop? I'm not sure about that. Just like that. And this is a bracket clue, so that means we need a nonverbal equivalent to the phrase just like that. I think a good nonverbal equivalent here would be poof. It's something disappearing just like that, right? Okay. Uncompromising. Hmm. I don't know about this one. T-O. That's a little tricky. Let's see if we can get this corner here. Infant's ailment. That could be colic. You can have a colicky baby. Move furtively. If you're moving furtively, you're sneaking around. Yeah, so this will be sneak. Okay. Discreetly includes on an email. You can do that by blind carbon copying someone. So this should be BCCs. Neighbor of a night. Hmm. I wonder if this is talking about a knight on a chessboard. Shouldn't this be a rook? Ooh, so this is not sneak. It's gonna be skulk. 
That's a more rare word. I really like that. Alternative to a camisole, perhaps. A camisole is kind of an undershirt, so this could be a bra. Okay. Human rights org. And we have an abbreviation in our clue, so that means our answer needs to be abbreviated as well. I think this is going to be the American Civil Liberties Union. What do we have on this down here? Bit of chocolate flavored cereal. Uh, I would want that to be a cocoa pebble, but that doesn't fit. Hmm, that's interesting. Is this an O? Essential oil, sandalwood, or lavender. Yeah, that's right. That's interesting. It feels like we ran out of room here. Uncompromising. We didn't get any more help, did we? Let's see if we can get these small answers here. Sly character of multiple fables. It sounds like they're going for a fox here. Oh, so this is a cocoa puff, not a cocoa pebble. Okay, it's been a while. Prefix with physics. Hmm, it's not astrophysics. Maybe this is just tough? And this could be geophysics, there we go. Wicked spell, that's a hex. All right. Singer with the five times platinum album Shepherd Moons. I haven't heard of this album, but it's gotta be Enya. Mirror image. And this is more wordplay, so it's not about the reverse image of something. I wonder if they're just asking for you, because when you're looking in the mirror, it's an image of you, right? Okay, that's kind of tricky. Really like. I wonder if this is fancy. If you fancy something, you like it. Will do ASAP. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think on it sounds right. It's very chipper. 1950s prez. And because we have this informal prez in the clue, our answer is going to be informal as well. I think this is going to be Ike. That was a nickname for President Eisenhower. Okay, groove for a letter-shaped bolt. Ooh. Um, I wonder if this is something like a tea slot? Would that be right? Squeal. Yeah, that could be Yelp. Red Cross training subject in brief. That's got to be CPR. So we have coffee at the end here. Let's see what our next theme answer is. Likely contents of a cup with a green siren logo. That's definitely going to be Starbucks coffee. What in the world is going on with our theme here? I can't see anything that any of these words have in common. Boy, what a mystery. School in the SEC. I'm pretty bad with college stuff. I'm not sure I'm gonna know what this is. Falcons on a scoreboard. They're the Atlanta Falcons. Okay. Security officer with an eye on teller transactions. Huh, what are they talking about here? It seems like they might be talking about a bank security officer. Maybe it's a bank guard? That does fit. Chem class component. Maybe that's a lab? I remember doing labs in chem class. Okay. Uh, this is maybe LSU, Louisiana State University. Relating to an arm bone. Okay, so this is kind of tricky. The ulna is a bone in your arm, but we need an adjective because they asked for relating to an arm bone. So this is going to be ulnar, relating to the ulna, yeah. Position in a hierarchy. Maybe that's a rank, if we're talking about a military hierarchy. Tie the knot. Yeah, that's what we're doing when we elope. Okay. Mother hen's entourage. That would be a brood. Nice. Country singer Yearwood. I'm pretty sure I've heard of this person. Isn't it Trisha? Yeah. And look at this. I think this could only be one thing. It's got to be Anchor Watch, right? 
Buddhist temple built in the early 12th century. Yes, that's gotta be Angkor Wat. Okay, hopefully this revealer is gonna explain what's going on because I am totally at sea here. Point of view. Maybe that's an angle? Stocking stuff? Hmm, are we talking about a Christmas stocking? I don't know. School on Manhattan's Washington Square Park. I do know that one, that's New York University. Glittery 1970s rock genre, that's glam. British nobleman, that's gotta be a lord. Comes to a close, yeah, that's ends. Okay, so what do we have here, nylon? Oh yeah, it's what stockings are made of. And we have MDs, some ER personnel. Yeah, those are doctors. Okay. Analog clock feature. That would be a dial, right? What more than half of the human body is composed of. Yeah, we're mostly water. San Antonio landmark. We gotta remember the Alamo. All right. Vein contents. This is not talking about a vein in your arm. This is a vein of metal. Yeah, this is gonna be ores. It's gotta be plural because they asked for contents plural in the clue. And others in Latin. And it's gotta be abbreviated. So this is gonna be at all. That's a phrase that means and others in Latin. You usually see that when you want to abbreviate a long list of names. Okay. Seattle's former NBA team to fans. Wasn't that the Seattle Supersonics? So is this the Sonics? I think that's right. Clan symbol. Maybe that's a totem. Utopian locale in a Coleridge poem. I think this is Xanadu. Yeah, let's see if that's right. 1990s TV heroine with a sidekick named Gabrielle. Man, I always spell Xanadu with a Z, but it's an X. I gotta try to remember that, because this is definitely Xena, warrior princess. All right. Shira's twin brother, that's He-Man. Perfume is an aroma. Brimless cap. I guess that could be a Tam, a tam -a shanter from Scotland. So let's see what our revealer is. I'm very interested to see what's going on with this theme. Borders represented four times in this puzzle, both in the grid and on a map. State lines? Oh, do we have states on either side of these lines? It looks like we do. We have Alabama and Florida, and they are next to each other on a map. Oh my goodness. So this is New York and Pennsylvania, also neighbors. Same with Kansas and Colorado, and Oregon and Washington. Wow, I really like that these states are neighbors in reality. Also, that is really cool. Excellent. All right, well, let's finish off this corner here. Actress Raymond of Malcolm in the Middle. Ooh, I don't remember this actress's name. Utopias could be Edens. That's funny, we have Eden crossing Xanadu. Inspirational figures for artists and poets. Those would be muses. Film in France. That's Cine, right? Cheekiness, that should be Sass. So that means this is Tanya Raymond. Man, yeah, I don't remember that name at all. All right, well, let's go ahead and throw this A in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 19 minutes. So our theme today was about a bunch of states that share state lines, not just in this grid, but also in a real life map. Royal Flush had Alabama and Florida. Fanny Pack has New York and Pennsylvania. Starbucks Coffee has Kansas and Colorado, and Angkor Wat has Oregon and Washington. What a cool construction. I don't think I ever would have noticed this without this revealer though. Yeah, that was really, really tricky. We also had some tricky vocab for a Tuesday puzzle. 
We had Jape at one across, which is a nice little trick to start out the puzzle. And also Skulk. Yeah, you don't see that very often. This was also an interesting wordplay clue. A mirror image. Yeah, it's an image of you. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed crossing the state line with me on this Tuesday solve. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.